Okay, day number 36. Chesed should be a sod. The foundation of life and knowledge of God is the imitation of godliness. This is the most potently expressed through deeds of generosity and loving kindness. Only thus is there linked heaven and earth. You know, just today, as I was reading this, it just reminded me of what happened. Someone texted me saying, you know, so many people share their knowledge because they want attention, because they want everyone to love them, and they want to be whatever. And I'm thinking like, if they only learned the lesson of had I known, maybe they would have really stopped themselves from being judgmental of all the people who just really love to share God's knowledge. And it's the I had I known syndrome. And this is from the Torah. There were three incidences that were taught that when Moshe Rabbeinu was, you know, chosen to be the leader of the Jewish people and to be the redeemer, Aaron didn't want to show off. And so he didn't make a big party. And um, because otherwise people would think like, oh, you're showing off, your brother is the redeemer. And so he didn't make that big feast, but he had said to themselves, had I known that it would be recorded for all eternity, then I would have made that big feast and not care that I would look like a show off. There was another incident of Reuven and um, when Yosef was about to be killed and he decided to like, you know, stall the situation and um, and like say, well, we don't want to have blood on our hands, so let's not kill him. Let's put him in the pit, in a pit or something. And after he realized, like he he didn't think that he was going to be sold as a slave and forever gone. And he was thinking, like, had I known, I should have stood up to my brothers. You know, I just didn't want to look like I'm holier than thou, and they'll think like I'm trying to be bigger than them. And so, had he known, he would have just done the bigger <laughs> deed and, and saved his brother Yosef. And there's another incident with Boaz and Ruth. Ruth was beautiful, and so Boaz actually felt like, you know, uh, I don't want to give her like, you know, the best of everything because it'll look like because she's so beautiful and I don't want her to get the idea that uh, I'm doing this because she's so beautiful. And after the fact, he was like, had I known this was going to be recorded for all of history, I don't care what people would have thought. I, I should have done the right thing. So, so many people like are sometimes um, really you know, judge by their act of kindness and judge by them wanting to do the right thing. And then the person's fervor gets diminished. So what we have to do is like have the had I known syndrome to just say, no, I'm going to do the right thing and genuinely be God's diamond on display with my chesed. And that's, if that's your foundation, you will not let other people's opinion of you stop you from doing what's right. Where do you let other people dampen your fervor? Happened to me today. The person was really judging unfavorably for all those people who love to share, as if they're sharing because they want attention. You know, when you love Hashem, you want so much for others to love Hashem too. And so you do the act of kindness and you share knowledge of Hashem. The sphere of the day is what within me resists, denies, diminishes, or deludes me regarding Hashem's constant, infinite love that fills the world. There is only the infinite light of Hashem. 
The resistance I feel is because of attachment to the world of illusion without the balance of knowing deeply that all there is in the world is Hashem. What is coming up that resists this? It feels powerful, fiery, movement full of force and pain, of heaviness and darkness. It is Kedusha given to the illusion in order that I have the opportunity to recognize my Creator, the only power. I love Hashem. I empty all my thoughts, feelings, urges, impulses, emotions, and beliefs into the infinite light and submit my heart and mind to Hashem's perspective that I am bitter in His light so that Hashem may utilize my mind and heart as a channel through which the Kedusha from the world of illusion may return to the infinite light and be revealed in the world. I want my heart and mind to be a channel to reveal you, Hashem. Please accept my tshuva for attaching to the illusion and please instead strengthen me in attachment only to you, Hashem Echad. Please help me be a strong vessel of a muna and a channel for your love and mercy to come into this world.